Hello, sweet people of the internet. My name is Tim with Mars Go Home, and today I wanted to run through a quick list of free third party resources that I use on a daily. Now, most of these are for us low-level creatures that clamber on cave floors and hit things with rocks, also known as Windows users, because most of these, those fancy Macs already gots them. You lucky little ladybugs. No YouTube channel would be complete if there wasn't a video of free resources, especially in list form. We are easily pleased creatures. So, in no particular order, let's get pleasured. Uh, yeah, I gotta work on that. But first, a quick message from Legal. I am in no way affiliated or get any unique offerings from these fine products presented in this video. I make no money by these brave and selfless promotions. I just love them so much and thought it would be sweet to share. But do your own research and see if these are right for you. Now back to our irregularly scheduled show. All the links are in the description. Number one, Listery. For all you Windows users, Listery is a search utility for your Windows machines. You can search for files and even launch programs. Type a keyword and it'll rummage through your entire system looking for that file. And it's fast. There's a free version and a pro version. There are some differences, but the main reason I personally use the pro version is it allows me to search for folders and files located on a network. If your files are local, then the free version will be just fine, especially if you're a messy little animal. Number two, quick look. So you got a file, an image, a video, and all you want to do is preview it quickly without loading up a completely separate program. Well, quick look has you covered. Highlight a file, hit the space bar, and bam, it pops up in a window to preview. Hit the space bar again to close it out. The great thing about it, it'll preview Photoshop files, and Illustrator files without launching their respective programs as well. The only downside to this is that you're gonna have to go through the Microsoft App Store for it. So, sorry, I don't make the rules. Number three, Pot Player. Not just for hippies, Pot Player is an alternative to VLC Player. Now, VLC Player is a good player, don't get me wrong, but I've gotten used to the Pot Player mainly because I've had to create closed captioning on client videos, and Pot Player seems to be the only one that's able to let me to preview them. Some other small but awesome features, quick access to change video speeds, subtitling resizing, select and view a large number of videos without setting up a playlist, lighten or darken a video, and so, so many other sweet little features. This is my go-to player for proofing work. Number four, PureRef. PureRef is a standalone program for Windows, Mac, and Linux that keeps track of all your images, whether you're gathering inspiration, making mood boards, or need reference images. PureRef is there so you can focus on creating, drag and drop features, resizing, drop straight from a website to the canvas. I like to use this when referencing something in Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and Blender. It stays above all your windows at all times until you tell it to get the hell out of here. Such a great tool. Number five, post haste. I went over this a little bit in this other video, but it pretty much instantly creates folder structures for you at a click of a button. Create template folders and projects and it creates them for you instantly to get you working faster and cleaner. Windows and Mac, it's made for everyone. Number six. Noisely.com. This one is for fun, but it helps me, and that is Noisely. Launch the site and toss on some soothing background sounds and tones to get you in the zone while you make your next masterpiece. Here's a free version and a paid version. Mix and match sounds like rain, wind, thunder, a cafe on a coastal town like in Maine. You can always launch a YouTube video of the same thing, so there's always that. <laughs> now, for all you After Effects peeps, Number seven, Effects Console. If you've been using After Effects for a while now, then you already know about this free little plugin by that one dude over at Video Copilot. Quickly access a plugin, presets, and After Effects, no jumping through menu systems and windows. Just hit the control space and it brings it up. I love this. 
so, so much. Now, some shameless self-promotion. Number eight, quick folders, After Effects script. I created a little script that quickly creates folders in After Effects, depending on the type of projects you use. I'm in the process of creating a version two of this that has more options, but until then, there's this. And it's free, because I love you. You can find it on the Mars Go Home website. And number nine, the Cthulhu Anchor Point After Effects script. This is a simple script I wrote to move an anchor point around on a comp or a layer. It's lightweight and super minimal. Sure, there's better ones out there, but this is free. And it has a Squid Lord bastard on it, so that's fun. Well, that's it, folks. I hope some of these help you out. I'm all about eliminating stepping stones in a workflow, and these help me leapfrog alongside my crippling ADD. And if this helps you out, Radness. Like and subscribe and do all the things and whatevers. Until then, stay rad, stay cool, stay creative.